Kaden, you can be anything in life. A doctor, a teacher, a taco. Exactly. A taco? Growing up, I've always enjoyed playing music. Playing around five instruments now, I spend most of my time both enjoying and listening to some Pink Floyd or Metallica. Having quite a good friend group my whole life, I've known Parker Watt for most of it. Being a very humorous fellow, many fun memories have been made throughout the years. Many with Costa in high school, he was really fun to be around. That was the case at least. Until the incident. How did Will Scorgy used to be? God, it's been so long, it's hard to remember. It's hard to remember the good times back in uh, primary school and such and so forth. I remember going to his house and playing a lot of Terraria, which, is, which was fun. It was the good times before all the sad anime OSTs. Well, after Parker, I'd say I've known Scrog for the longest. I knew him in primary school, but I never really had many interactions with him. But from the very little I did know of him, he seemed to be a rather intelligent and level-headed person. I got to know more of him during high school, uh, in which I had a math class with him, uh, Sessions Math, and the two of us would commonly um, message each other over mathematical problems. Um, he would ask my help with an issue, and so, and I would ask for his help. Yeah, uh... Uh, you know, I would I would say that I, I I know him. I had music with him in uh, year nine. He was a uh, quite a good classmate. He was you know popular amongst his peers. Um, yeah, yeah, I did have the occasional conversation with him. Um, yeah, we talk about uh, you know, our favorite anime girls and. Uh, you know, the buy the buy stuff, the sort out online, and you know, a bit of music. But then he started listening to uh, anime OSTs, unironically, and it started getting worse. I, it was just like any other day in the in the DVD group chat. Then out of the blue, a message popped up, and it was from Parker. And then they just kept spamming it, and he wanted it to stop. And Will was on my side, and then we were just like, you know, it it, it was pretty friendly. It, there was yeah, nothing it was. too intense, yeah. Um, and then out of the blue, like Will just left. I'm pretty sure, right? It's really saddening. All I did was just put a couple of Spongebob crying gifts. I didn't, I don't understand. Will, what did I do wrong to you? Come on, the Dead by Daylight group chat it was just a, just a goof, just a gag. I didn't mean it, truly. Wish we could be friends again, Ayigas. Just kidding, Scrag, I got you, I win! I you are won. a piece of shit and you're never going to be my friend again. After seeing a crying Spongebob beam, war had erupted. After a few, few people such as Mitch Lyle had left, I simply had enough. Expressing how annoyed I was and how disrespectful they were to all of us, they both made fun of me, sharing my anger to everyone I know, placing disgrace to my name and ruining my reputation. Portraying me as the villain, unable to enjoy playing games with my friends anymore or listen to music without harassment. Being called a ruthless leader just because I tried to make peace? I've been a victim to their acts and they're punishing me for their inactions.
completely crushing me as a person and destroying our friendship we spent over 10 years building. I think the start of his uh, his Joker arc, as some have been saying, would would go back even as far as then when uh, it was the little things that it, either I did or someone else did that would just rub him the wrong way and paint him out as a, a monster that was mainly just a misunderstood boy that no one could really uh, grasp the idea of. Started listening to a lot of heavy metal and um, really harsh, loud music that I wasn't really a fan of. But it really took the turn for worse when he started listening to artists such as, you know, Gigi Allen, and uh, he started constantly speaking in these inaudible, belligerent tongues that no one could really understand. Um, I couldn't really comprehend the thoughts that were going through his mind, but he just started making sounds that no one could really get. Yeah, yeah. I think the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back was really uh, uh, his newfound obsession with Soft Willy. He would just continuously talk about him and really got to the point where I couldn't even understand what he was saying. The only things I could audibly pick up was those two words, Soft Willy. Hey, he's just He's too far gone. He's not the same person I remember now. Yeah, I literally, I only found out like about Will Scroggy like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I think Will Scroggy is being very reactionary. I can understand his point of view from what I have heard about Scroggy with a, a couple other incidences. Uh, this seems like a very common reaction. Perhaps. Doesn't Will Scroggy like use emo emojis like, like, you know? But even then, I, I, I do believe the first cracks are starting to show because Will would like every one of my messages. He would, um, I would send a message on Instagram. And then almost instantly, he would get the little heart emoji in the bottom left corner. And then he'd start typing out the next message. Uh, the first couple of times, I didn't think much of it. It seemed, you know, a rather reasonable response. Um, but after a while, when it didn't stop, I, I began to become concerned. Um, one particularly horrific in incident I... I remember um, uh, he he liked all three of my messages. He liked three of them in a row. I I can't comprehend what goes through a person's head when they decide to do something like that. I mean, one heart is sufficient for Martin. He, he, he could have just hearted the last message, but no, he did all three. Um, after that incident, I. I have a message um, Will since I, I, I can't go for that at the end and um, I, I do feel a lot of guilt. I felt like I probably should have said something and brought it up to you know, his friends or his parents or even, I don't know, um, some sort of professional because I, I feel like if I had said something earlier then um, what occurred would never happen. I could have stopped this disaster. I could have stopped it, but I, I didn't. It's all my fault that I did this to Will Scruggy. I shouldn't. <laughs> I, I, I took it too far. I, 
I was doing a little trolling, it was just a prank, but no, I can't, I can't hide behind that mask any longer. I need to atone for my actions. What I did to all Scroggy was not okay. I destroyed this man's life, it's all my fault. So I've, I've known Will for about like a couple years now. I only recently knew Parker like maybe a year ago or something. But like he doesn't seem like that bad of a guy. And obviously Will has known Parker for a very long time, but it's kind of crazy to me to think that for someone he's known for so long to just all of a sudden out of the blue hate him the way he does, it's, it's just crazy. It's, it's so weird. I don't know. I don't know what to do at this point. What kind of person was Will Scroggy? Will Scroggy is the most kind-hearted individual you'll ever meet. He, you didn't know how to play G chord on a guitar, and he'd teach you. That's the kind of man he is. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He was a kind-hearted individual who would do anything for anyone. And he's been castrated by these members of our society that abandons him just because he was he had a different opinion to them. He, he regrets doing the good things for the wrong people. He's one of us. And I love him for that. So sad to see someone like this just ruined. Ruined for all the wrong purposes. Ruined by people who don't care and go unpunished for their actions. It's not the right way. It's not the right way at all. <laughs> I've known Scrog for as long as I can remember. We went to kindergarten together, went to primary school, now high school. Our friendship has grown stronger than ever since we started training together. Um, it hurts me to see that he's, he's gone insane, but due to our long history together, I'm going to support him. He's my friend, and I'm going to stick with him. Um, me and Scroggy have, have had a big past, um, full of torment, and uh, uh, I'm really worried for him, to be honest. We've had a few chats in the past, things have gotten out of hand. And really, I just I just want to know what's happening with him, um, and I hope he gets some help sometime in the future. But for now, I'm just gonna let him let him go because it's not worth it. the The amount of torment and and struggle I've been through from him is just. Uh, he created that server. He had all right to control it how how it is. We simply existed in it, and he's punished for wanting to make it his own. In the Dead by Daylight group chat, he simply enjoyed a game. And that group chat was used to ask when people can't come, will come on and play. But instead, he was spammed. He was ridiculed. He was made fun of simply for wanting to play a simple, exciting game. And this, 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 this is, he's a victim. People are blaming a victim. Clearly did nothing wrong. He's one of us. He's one of us. He's done nothing wrong. And he's blamed for it. You see, a truckload of soldiers blow up and it's all a part of the plan. Well, those truckload of soldiers are the victims of, of Coston Parker's villainous acts. You see, the ones who used to, who used to be, believe in love now believe in karma. And uh, Will Scrocky, has, he used to love dead by day. He used to love professional artists, but now he believes in karma. He just wants to see the world burn. He's a broken man by the... He's being persecuted by the people in our society. So, to my message to Will Scroggy, burn so bright that it burns to their eyes. I'm 
I'm not sure if I'll ever recover from this incident, as it has affected my soul tremendously. These acts by Parker Watt and Costa were unacceptable, and I pray no one else has to go through the pain that I had to endure.